Danny, what's your, your emotions after that one? Well, we're really frustrated, angry. You know, we, we, get, we get asked by the EFL to play three games in six days, which is ridiculous, four games in, in nine days. Um, yeah, we're absolutely empty the tank. We get right to the dying moments. We're going to get a really well-earned 1-0 away win. And the referee misses three fouls that, that leads to, a, to, to their goal. And I just, uh, it's just unacceptable that he can't see that. Sorry, I've watched it back. It's clear. It's right in front of him. Um, just not good enough. At the, the quality of refereeing hasn't been good enough all season. Um, I very rarely moan about the referees, but key decisions, that's the one they're interested in. Don't get much more key than that because that has a huge effect and, in, and an impact on the league. What did Bobby Madley say to you when he came over to the touchline after the goal? Just that he didn't think it was a foul, even though his fourth official did, even though their goalkeeper coach did. And their, and their, 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 their number two goalkeeper come out over, shaking hands with him, saying, you missed a massive foul there. It's everyone, anyone who knows anything about football. Gavin's in the air, he's about to catch the ball, there's a clear foul to Andy Push. There's a massive foul by Cole Stockton on Conor Ogilvy that ends up, Con that ends up with Cole Stockton pushing Conor Ogilvy into, into Gavin as well. It was just so obvious, so blatant. But he, he hasn't got it right. And that's ultimately something that we've got to suffer. And I feel sorry for our supporters. They travel the length of the country, the length of the country to support the players. And we just want some consistency, just want some fairness, and um, we haven't got that today, unfortunately. What, what would you say about the uh, putting that aside about the performance up, up to that point? I thought we um, we were a team that looked like we played three games in six days. I thought the group gave everything that they had. Um, it was clear in the in the in the dying moments of that game that, that we were we were running on empty, which. You anticipate with such a small squad and the game's come as thick and fast as they have. Um, but yeah, I thought we'd done enough to get over the line and we're obviously disappointed because we, uh, you know, that would have been another clean sheet and a valuable three points. Fine goal from Sean Braggard in the first half. Yeah, it was a good goal. It was a good goal, yeah. Good good ball by Clark Robertson, diagonal ball. Um, good win by uh, Ronan Curtis on the back post and yeah, nice finish from Sean. Joe Murrell obviously travelled, but not quite fit enough to play today. Yeah, credit to him. He wanted to give himself the best possible chance, but with dead legs, sometimes you, you, you suffer from muscle inhibition where the muscle just that doesn't have any power in it. Um, and he did a, did a did a brief fitness test this morning, but it was quite clear that, that he wasn't going to make it. And now is it a couple of much needed days off for the players? How do you how do you recover them and get them ready for, for Gillingham next yeah, week? Yeah, we'll obviously travel back this evening. We'll rest tomorrow and then we'll um, start preparing for the Gillingham.